Hopefully these last few spells will pass and I'll be on my way. I would consider that red sky morning, lightning over there. I'm gonna um, have my coffee and check the weather. Can't win all of them. engine up at least but it's a perfect cozy day to work and nap and um, not sail but that's life hopefully these last few spells will pass and I'll be on my way the only wind I'm worried about is when it moves from west to north if I need to be in the tongue of the ocean, I need to be past the tongue of the ocean by then to make my turn. Worst case, I tack a little bit. It's good wind, so I'm not too worried. I'm actually gonna see what these wind knots are. Um, batteries are getting so high with this wind. One benefit. Twenty-five knots of wind right now, and it probably just picked up to about 30 as it actually came down. Now my seats are wet, but I have unlimited towels because I'm going to do laundry in a few days. Yeah. Starting off strong. I think that means it's go time. Um, I don't know if I'm going to film raising the anchor. It's Everything's kind of wet and I don't want to risk the GoPro falling in the water. And hopefully the last video I got of it turning out, turned out. Um, so, yeah. Let's see if the engine starts and um, start raising the anchor. Anchor is up. This is just such a process. Mako. So hard, isn't it? And I'm leaving. I'm gonna throw my back out to me. This is what's gonna happen. Okay, on the way. Maybe 20 minutes in and autopilot is already acting up. And there's a huge line of squalls. Still wouldn't trade it for the world. Not every day can be perfect winds and sunny. The wind's probably gonna shift. Probably when those squalls come through, it'll be head on. So um, I may be tacking a little bit. But it's nice because when I'll maybe need a tack, there's plenty of water versus being on the bank with tons of coral heads. So it'll be good. I'm excited, going four knots. I'm not mad about it.
engine is clearly on and I'm gonna try to not hit this wall. So I'm just getting closer though. The wind's coming from like there, so if I I don't know. I don't mind rain, but like when I can avoid it, why not? Make our seats are just getting dry. Right? Water, um, pretty sure there's a water spot like right there. There's like water coming from the surface over there. I can see rotation right here. Uh, storm's supposed to be moving that way. Um, I don't know if you can see that yacht way over there but I was pretty much gonna pass them starboard to starboard, but I decided to go way this way and just avoid that altogether. I don't know how much you guys can hear me right now, but um, one thing I don't like to mess with is hurricanes, tornadoes, water spots, anything with rotation. Uh, yeah, I can see a few trying to come out. So that's one thing I don't mess with. Uh, I never want to mess with. I don't want anything to do with those things. I'll happily go miles out of my way to avoid that. Uh, I am lucky that I just got internet because the berries are right there. Um, this is an older system, so even though I can receive the AIS, I do not transmit and I cannot see regular boats or I don't or storms. Um, so that's an upgrade I want to make eventually just so I can see squalls as they're coming in and try to avoid them the best I can. I'm only miles off my course right now. Wind's picking up. There's the temperature drop. 25 knots of wind. Plus the wind going into it, so. I have not sailed this much upwind with this much wind in so long. Um, winds just shifted um, to a little bit more to the north. It's continually shifting. Wind picked up to like 15 to 17 knots um, within minutes really. And going five to six knots. Very happy about that because I'd prefer to anchor with there's some light. Um, so at this rate, uh, I'll have about one hour until the tongue of the ocean. I'll probably reef a little bit before sunset because the wind does keep shifting a lot and there's a lot of storms around and I really don't want to get caught with the whole, with the whole sail out. Main's in, 
don't need it. Very relaxing. Mako would disagree. ETA right now is 618, 630. So if I go at this pace, if I go five knots for the next um, 13 hours, I'll be very happy about that. I have made it to the tongue, so I have to avoid that little post right there, and then it's 70 more miles till Bimini. We're already in 130 feet of water. can hear the engine um, the wind was super on and off last night only one squall a little bit of rain chilly but not bad um, got a little bit of sleep in but engines been on most of the time the wind was just so inconsistent from three knots to 20 knots and back and forth um, so I did try to not use the engine for a while and then I get like really excited and then I'm gonna shift again or yeah so um, engine's been on for a lot of it but made good timing it's eight I think right now pulling into Bimini um, I'm gonna be anchored in this yeah there's not really many good protected anchorages here at least in pretty water and I am gonna be like that today it's my last night in the Bahamas and I'm going to anchor in pretty water. I don't mind the rolling too much. It's not more than I've been doing while traveling. Um, yeah, there's just some swell. It'll pick up again tomorrow, but the wind's going to shift, hopefully, and become a little more consistent, which means it won't be as rocky rolly and it'll just be more like this. Uh, I haven't been to Vimini in my boat yet so i'm very excited to be here i'll get to see stephanie um, made it after anchoring and cleaning up stephanie and i met to go spear fishing which was then followed by catching up over sundowners for my last night in the bahamas what I thought was my last night in the Bahamas last night will hopefully be tonight. So. Thank you so much for watching. This would not be possible without you and especially my patrons who have early access to each video.